क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स एवरी वन फ्रिंज विथ फॉर यंग्स डबल स्लिट एक्सपेरिमेंट इज जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर मिलीमीटर वेन प्लेस्ड इन एयर एंड वेवलेंथ ऑफ लाइट इज सिक्सटी थ्री हंड्रेड एंगस्ट्रॉम नाउ द होल एपरेटर्स इज इमर्ज इन अ लिक्विड ऑफ रिफेक्टिव इंडेक्स वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री देन न्यू फ्रिंज विथ विल बी वॉट नाउ वी नो वेरी वेल द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर फ्रिंज विथ बीटा इज गिवेन बाई लैमडा कैपिटल डी अपॉन स्मॉल डी लैमडा वेवलेंथ ऑफ लाइट कैपिटल डी दैट इज गैप बिटवीन स्क्रीन एंड स्लेट स्मॉल डी सेपरेशन बिटवीन स्लिट्स नाउ इफ द मीडियम विल बी चेंज देन डेफिनेटली वेवलेंथ विल ऑल्सो बी चेंज नाउ द न्यू फ्रिंज विथ बीटा डैश विल बी लैमडा डैश डी अपॉन डी वेयर लैमडा डैश विल बी वॉट लैमडा बाई म्यू सो बी डैश वी कैन राइट लैमडा बाई म्यू डी कैपिटल डी टेकिंग द रेशियो ऑफ वन एंड टू वी गेट बीटा डैश अपॉन बीटा इक्वल्स वन बाई म्यू एंड दे आर फोर बीटा डैश विल बी बीटा डिवाइडेड बाई म्यू वेयर बीटा इज गिवेन जीरो पॉइंट एट फोर अपॉन म्यू इज ऑल्सो गिवेन वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री दिस वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर बाई थ्री आफ्टर सॉल्विंग वी विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस After solving, we will get the value of this beta dash as 0.63 millimeter. So the fringe width in this case will be this. So option number three we can go with. Now move on to the next that is 37 number. So here is question number 37, everyone. A beam of light incident on a glass plate at an angle of 60 degree. The reflected ray is polarized. If the light ray incident at an angle of 37 degree, then the angle of reflection will be what? Question belongs to polarization, and according to law of Brewster, according to Brewster law, we have refractive index mu equals 10 angle of incident for polarization. That is 60 degree here, so 1060. refractive index we have got under root 3 now applying the snell's law we will get sin new angle of incidence 37 degree sin angle of refraction which we have to calculate equals refractive index that is root 3 so from here we have got sin r equals sin 37 divided by root 3 sin 37 Three by five root three, root three will be cancelled with three by root three, and we get the value of R as sine inverse root three upon five. So this is the final expression, and let us find out the options. We can say that option number two is absolutely correct. So we'll go with option number two only. Now move on to the next, that is thirty-eight number. So here is question number thirty-eight, everyone. In a photoelectric emission, the electrons are ejected from metal A and B by light of frequency nu. The potential difference capital V required to stop the electron is measured for various frequencies. If B has greater work function than capital A, then the graph which illustrates the expected result is what? Now we know very well the stopping potential related with the frequency as E V naught equals h nu minus phi where phi is the work function now more phi more h nu not because phi is given as h nu not which is threshold frequency nu not is threshold frequency now on this graphs this is nu not so intercept is actually nu not if we will increase the work function this nu not will increase the intercept will increase so since phi b is greater than phi a therefore nu for b is greater than nu not for a or b will have more intercept than a so we'll go with option number 1 only option number 1 will be truly correct now move on to the next that is 39 number here is question number 39 everyone 
the de Broglie wavelength of thermal neutron at 927 degree centigrade is lambda. Its wavelength at 127 degree centigrade will be what? Now, we know very well the wavelength for any particle, any moving particle with temperature is given by h upon under root 2m small k t, where small k Boltzmann constant and t is absolute temperature that is in Kelvin. So from here it is clear that lambda inversely proportional to under root t of temperature because rest of the things are constant. Now if you vary the temperature, wavelength will vary. So lambda 1 upon lambda 2 from here we can write under root of t2 upon t1. Now we have to think about lambda 2 therefore lambda 2 will be what under root of t1 upon t2 into lambda 1. Given that lambda 1 is lambda t1 that is 927 degree centigrade so 927 plus 273 that is 1200 Kelvin. Similarly, T2 will be what? 400 Kelvin. Putting the values, we'll get under root T1, 1200, T2, 400, lambda. Solving it, we'll get the value of lambda, that is lambda 2, equals root 3 times lambda. So, let's find out the option. We can say that option number 2 is absolutely correct. So, we will go with option number 2 only. Now, move on to the next, that is 40 number. So, here is question number 40, everyone. The total number of different wavelength that can be observed in emission spectrum from a sample of hydrogen atom excited to a state with principal quantum number 5. Now, we know very well the number of spectral lines is given as capital N equals N, N minus 1 divided by 2, where n is the quantum number. Here n is 5 into 4 divided by 2. Solving it gets you 10. So the answer will be 10. We have to go with option number 1. Now move on to the next that is 41 number. Mm -hmm.